Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. G coming to you with a video. Your first math video here is about sorting and patterns. How do we separate things and how we can make patterns and identify these patterns. So first, I want you to look at the items I found in my desk. Is there any way you can help me sort them out? I have a bunch of different objects that you can find in the desk and I need help sorting them out. How would I do that? Think about it for a couple seconds. All right, now that you've had a good little look here, what would you take first? What can we separate first? Do you see anything here that we might be able to start categorizing, put them in a group? What if I take this eraser here and I just move it right over here? What else do you think I can put in that group? You probably guessed it right, this eraser here, because they're very similar. They're the same objects. And is there anything else I can move over there? That's right, this last one here, this third eraser. Now those go all into one group. We have sorted them into one group, a group of erasers. Anything else that's similar in our group? What if I take this paper clip and move it right here? Can I make a group out of that paper clip? I can. You're right. Right here is some more paper clips. Anything else? Perfect. That's another paper clip. I can put them in the same group. Now I have a group of erasers, a group of paper clips, and look, what do I have left? Just a few pencils, and I think they belong in the same group. We can put those together. Now we have sorted out my desk. And how did we do that? We looked at attributes. You may have not have heard that word before, but an attribute is something that makes the items the same. What makes the one group similar? Like their characteristics. What makes these items the same? What words can we use to describe them? Let's have a look at something else. So let's talk about that word attribute a little bit more. An attribute, like we said, is a characteristic, words that we use to describe the object. If we look here in front of us, we have three rectangles. One's red, and it's a rectangle. The other one's blue, and it's a rectangle. And the other one's orange, and also a rectangle. They have a few things that are similar, like their shape and their size. But the words that we use to describe them are their characteristics. It's a rectangle and it's red. Those are characteristics. Those are attributes. Have a look at these shapes down here. What do we see here? You may have guessed this right. The first one is a circle. So we've identified the shape. The next one is a triangle. And the last one is a square. Well done. These are all different shapes. One's a circle, one's a triangle, and the other one's a square. So we use these words to describe the object that we're looking at. So we have a few more videos on sorting and patterns. That's just a brief introduction on what this unit is about and that we're going to be sorting different objects based on their characteristics and we're going to be creating patterns of our own and being able to identify these patterns. This is Mr. G signing off. Please look forward to the next video on sorting and patterns.